everyone. If you've been enjoying the programming that we here at Gaze in Space have been creating for you over these past four years, both in real life and virtually, we'd like to ask you to become a patron of our 501c3 nonprofit organization so that we can keep it all going. If you've enjoyed our original Trek-inspired musical performances presented during our virtual celebrations, not to mention the fabulous Trek-themed drag, or maybe it's the real-life science thing, or maybe it's because you've enjoyed interacting one-on-one -on -one with your favorite Star Trek actors, and if you're like me, you have met some incredible friends that have become your besties, or hey, maybe you met the love of your life out of Gaze in Space again. Or maybe. Simply hearing all of the many diverse voices in our community finally being respected and represented within the Star Trek universe is the reason you want to be a part in making sure these things continue. Whatever your individual reason is for wanting more of what Gaze in Space has created, the way to make it happen is the same. Become a patron and join us in our fight to ensure the continued inclusion of the LGBTQ plus community in Star Trek and in science fiction storytelling. And always remember that to fix the problems of today, we must have hope for tomorrow. Thanks. Good evening and welcome to The Trekkie Feud, brought to you by your friends here at now say it with me. Gaze in space. Tonight, we have two celebrity-led teams who are ready to duke it out Trekkie style. First up, we have the Chancellors, led by Klingon Chancellor Martok himself, the one and only Mr. J.G. Hertzler. Joining him are Garrett Huar, Nick Jones, Eric Rythal, Ali Kochman, Steve Harris, and Billy Chung. They will be facing off with the Forever Ensigns under the command of everyone's favorite ensign, Harry Kim, also known as Garrett Wong. Garrett is joined by Mike Diamond, Sean Connolly, Keita Soulcat, Ed Hall, Tyler Williamson, and Eugene Abad. Now, please welcome your host, Dan Dan Dan. 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 Here we go for the first round of Trekkie Feud. Name an alien race that you would not want to piss off. Garrett. The Borg. The Borg. They are pretty terrifying. So let's see if they're up there. Show me the Borg. <laughs> now, uh... number two answer. Very good. Well, now, JG, you could steal this by choosing the number one answer. What do you think the number one answer is? I don't know if it's the number one answer with the, the, all the people that took this damn quiz, but uh, for me, it's the Herc. The Herc, that makes, that makes total sense. The only ones who ever really kicked the Klingons' asses. Correct them when makes sense. All right, let's see if it's up there. Show me the Herc. <laughs> yeah! Oh, it is uh. not there. So now, Forever Ensigns, would you guys like to pass or play? Let's play, guys, yeah? We're gonna Let's play. Here gonna we play. go. All right. Mike Diamond, Yo, you are up? next up, sir. It is lovely to see you. How are you? Hello. Oh, I'm so great. Thank you for having me here. It's very special. Thank you. It is our pleasure. Now, rumor has it that you do a podcast about <laughs> some TV show that I you know think I do. people were in. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, it's called Fire Chakotay, and it's a recap <laughs> podcast about Star Trek Voyager, and you have yeah. to pronounce it as Janeway. Fire Chakotay. That is what it's called. And <laughs> Fire Chakotay. Fire Chakotay. And also, I'd like to say, can our team be called Janeway's Nervous Breakdown? Because, <laughs> I mean, like seven seasons of it. I'm, I'm there for it. <laughs> Janeway's Nervous Breakdown. I love it. Well, that could be our secondary name. I like okay, that. that's our little backup name. Yes. So the question was, what alien species would you be most afraid of facing? 
uh, of pissing off race that you would not want to piss off. Don't piss them off. Okay. I'm not going to say Republicans. How about Klingon? <laughs> good Klingon. answer. Good answer. Yeah. They, yeah. Uh, that is a very good answer because they can be quite scary. Yes. Uh, except when they're out of makeup and then they're just cuddly teddy bears like JG. So, Oh, JG has a comment. No, no, I don't. That's number one. But it was, see, that's not fair because it's my, who, what's the answer? Hit the answer. <laughs> Show me, Klingons. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Uh, but it's not yeah. alien to me. You see, that's the problem. Oh, uh, okay. Stop your whining, JG. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Don, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Thank you very much for being here with us. Where are you Zooming in from? I am in New York City. I'm oh, actually cool. in the room across from Garrett. Really? Yeah. Which is probably down the street from me. From That's bizarre. Oh. Yeah. Garrett Hoya, of course, not yeah. Garrett Walk. There you go. Probably. You, probably. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you Some for uh, being here with us. Now tell us, your team is doing quite well. Uh, let's see if you can keep it going. Give us the name of an alien race that you would not want to piss off. Well, the two obvious ones are taken. So, uh, gonna go with Nausicaan. Nausicaans. Nice. They are scary. Nice. They are hard through the heart scary. They're scary looking. That's for sure. Get, the, they buzzer are. Get yeah. the buzzer ready. No, no, no. No, no. Let's give it a chance here. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, no. Show me Nausicaans. I'm sorry. Oh! I'm sorry, dude. Uh, okay, that's fine. Only uh, one strike against you. Next up is... My sister from another mother, Kita Soulcat. <laughs> Kita, how are you? Thanks for being here. Doing well, thank you. Happy to be here. Thank you. Awesome. Now, uh, let's see. Let's see if you can grab any one of the four, five remaining answers up there. An alien race you would not want to piss off. Uh, let's go ahead and go with Romulans. Yeah, Romulans. Romulans. Yes. Free. You You're piss right. off a Romulan, and yeah, they're going to get you back. It may not be today or tomorrow, but at some point, they're going to get you. Yeah. Show me the Romulans. Yeah. Here it is. Uh, All right. My sister Thank from you. another mother. Ooh, Thank you. Moving right along here. Okay, next up we have Ed. How are you? All right. How are you doing, Dan? I'm doing well. Thanks for being here with us. Tell us where you're zooming in from. I'm zooming in from Delaware. Delaware. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Cool. So now uh, let's see if you can uh, prevent a second strike, the name of an alien race you would not want to piss off. You know, I still have nightmares about entering into fluidic space and pissing off species 8472. Yeah. yeah. Good that's answer. Cool. Good answer. That is an excellent answer. I think Garrett can attest to the fact you do not want to mess with them. <laughs> oh. mm -mm. Tendrils up your nose city. Yeah. That's where you would end up. Uh, all right. Let's see if they're up there. Show me species eight, four, seven, two. Uh, oh! Oh! They belong there. That is surprising Choice. to me. It was too early. Yeah. yeah. Thank All you. right. Who's next up on your team? My next is my brother from another mother, Tyler Williamson. Tyler. Williamson. Tyler, how Hello. are you? I'm calling from a very wet day in North Carolina, but I'm here. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. So I hope that the power doesn't go out. We'll see. <laughs> You know, Dan, let me just tell you real quick. What I like about Tyler's background is like everybody, when you see the Zoom call, the books are directly like Mike's. That's the look at Mike Diamond. That's typically how you see their study. But yeah. Tyler has it at an angle, which I really kind of like. <laughs> that to me speaks to me. It's just like it looks great, Tyler. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Just for the record, a little bit of a Dutch tilt here going on or something. Yeah. You know. <laughs> These are not my books. This is not my home. I just oh, want okay. to be honest. <laughs> That's a wall hanging back there. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. wallpaper, a wallpaper of books. Mike Diamond right. doesn't read. Come Mike on. Diamond. Oh, bitch, I will read. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Touche. All right. All Tyler. right, Tyler, give us the name of an alien race that you don't want to piss off. I would say um, mainly because I don't feel like, you know, wanting to make more drug addicts, uh, the Jim Hadar. Jamdar, DS number. be number seven. Ooh, they were uh, they were pretty scary and yeah, scary drug addicts. That's right. Let's see. Show me yeah. the Jim Hadar. Jim. Oh, 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 o
Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. All that right. is very surprising. Okay. Right. Well, Team Chancellors, you guys have the chance to steal this round right now if you we guys can come up with four, one though. of the four remaining answers. We have to run the table. I would, I would think it would be Q. the Q. Yeah. yeah. Q. Q's my guess. I'm thinking, I'm, th I'm feeling Gorn going going way back to the, to the lizards. I don't know. If Jem Hadar and 8472 weren't on it, I feel like Gordon wouldn't be on it, too. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, like a, Q, there's also, God, uh, uh, like well, what about also trying to, uh, there's also trying to keep up with the Kardashians. I mean, these are very yeah. standardized. What about the Balkans? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Like, I wouldn't I'll, want to piss one of them off. How old are these gay Trekkies that were pulled? That's what <laughs> I would <laughs> Let's get into the mindset of, uh, of the, of the bull too. No, 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 no. You can't ask that. You can't ask that. Uh, that's getting too much information away right there. We're yeah, there. just gay Trekkies. Is just say Trekkies, period. Yeah. All right, JG. Do Vulcans so actually you get pissed off? Do Vulcans get pissed off, though? No. Oh, but when they do, you don't want to be there. <laughs> JG, the you're, the, you're, the, you're, the, you're the paternal figure on that team, okay, so you've got to pick. All right. right. What are the what are the three what are the answers we're coming up with? You got feeling the Q. Q. Feeling Q. Yeah, the Q. Q. You said Vulcan, and then somebody said something else. Was there one so, other so one? I said uh, Gorn. Cardass so I said Cardassian. Gorn. Gorn. Cardassians. There's also uh, Sullivan. Yeah. Gorn. The I'm Gorn. Kind of, I'm afraid of the Orions. <laughs> <laughs> the most people were uh, the most the Orions. Most voted for the Q for you. <laughs> the oh. I, I have to go. I, I have to say the Vulcans because I just think. All right. Standardized-looking <laughs> group. So, all right, that's all right. his answer. All right, the chancellor himself of the chancellors says Vulcans. Let's see if it's up there. Show me the Vulcans. Uh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> answer. Good answer. It is not up there, which means the points go to the forever and since. Congratulations, guys. Yes. All right. Now, let's see the ones that we did not get. Show us number three. Changeling. Cardassians. Oh, Cardassians. Uh, you guys had it. Yep, number yep. Five. They are not friendly, even when you're nice to them. Show us number five. <laughs> ah, that's uh, changeling. Uh, founders yeah. or the changelings. Changelings. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Number six. The Zindi. Yeah. Okay. Zindi. A lot of different types of races in there that are pretty terrifying. So I could understand that. And the final one, number seven. Ferengi? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to lay you out like a hefty bag gets Tasha Yar. Dead. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Trash talk. Trash talk. Smack talk. It's, it's only round down. two. Here we go. Roughly 100 or so Trekkies, most of whom were probably very gay, were surveyed. The top five answers are up on the board. Um, I realize it says six, but there are two answers in there that are really the same thing we've decided. So if you get one, we're going to open both. Okay. Make sense? All right. Uh, here we go. Name something it's essential that you would bring with you on an away mission. Boom. Uh, Mike? Okay, I'm not going to say Captain Pike's sperm rocket. What I am going to say <laughs> is a tricorder. His, his, what? What? <laughs> tricorder. Sorry. Tricorder. All right. Yeah. Very essential. You got to find out what's around you because you never know it. when you may encounter a sperm rocket. What? You want to see that come and show me a tricorder? Yeah. Number one answer. All right. Mm -hmm. Well done. Team Forever Ensigns, are you guys going to pass or are you going to play? Mike, what do you think? Um, well, I think we should play. Let's do it. All Hello. right. They're going to play. Here we go. Okay. Next person up on your team is Sean, correct? Yeah, Sean Connolly. Yes. All right. Sean, name something essential that you'd bring with yourself on an away mission, that you'd bring with yourself, that you would bring with you on an away mission. Well, I would bring myself. So that, that is a good possibility. I'm going to go with uh, a med kit. A med kit. Med Absolutely. kit. Good answer. Good answer. Very good answer. You're, you know you're going to get hurt at some point or somebody with you is you go. probably going to die. Uh, yes. So let's see if you're ready. Show us med thing. kit. Yeah. There it is. And 
it's also the sixth answer because we had dermal oh. regenerator. Oh, yeah. look at that. You knocked out two and one. Good and job. we figured that's kind of the same thing, so we put them together. Good job, Sean. This All right, cool. next up, something essential Dan, that you bring with you. Especially under protest from here on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I, I can put those who were surveyed in touch with you, JG, and you could set them straight. Yeah, fine. Yeah. I mean, over. not actually straight, but you know no, what I mean. You know, uh, I, next person up, name something essential you would bring with you on an away mission. Kita. You would want to bring your communicator. Yeah. Your communicator. Absolutely. Because no matter how many places you visit, you always want to go home. Am I right, Garrett? You <laughs> always right. want to go home. Wanna All right, let's home. see it. Show me communicator. <laughs> there it is. Well done. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see if you guys can keep this going. Something essential on an away mission. My brother, Ed, from another mother. Let's go, Ed Hall. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be caught without a phaser. Phaser! Absolutely. Yeah, Got to defend yourself. Show us a phaser. That pisses me off. Number two. Number two. Woo! Woo! No strikes and only one more to go. Who is up next? My man T Dog, Tyler Williamson, down there in the corner. Tyler, can you bring it home for your team? No pressure. What There's not, you... been no, no strikes so far. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're good. Um, an, e an EV suit? We don't see a ton of those. Hey, I like that answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Environmental suit. Environmental suit. All right. Environmental suit. You never know. It might be number four. Show me environmental suit. Oh, oh it's okay. Oh. That's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's, it's, all right. it's only one strike. It's okay. All right. That was a good guess. That was a good guess. Okay. My brother, Eugene Abano from Another Mother. Come on, Eugene. Oh, boy. I'm going to go with a tablet. One of those tablets. Oh, a pad, a pad, a pad, a pad, a pad, a pad. Yeah. Okay. Personal right. access display device, a pad. I believe you said tablet. It's the same damn thing, JJ. <laughs> Show me an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> ah! It's a good answer, though. That's a good answer. All right. Answer. This is, uh, you only got one strike left, forever ensigns. Uh, what are you going to bring with you on an away is, mission? Is it back to me? Oh my God. It is, uh, yeah, back to Garrett. Oh God, uh, an away mission, tricorder phaser. Uh, You're the only one here that's actually been on an away mission. <laughs> I know, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm just thinking right now. Um, a security detachment? Uh, yes, yes, that is Can absolutely I say that? a possibility. Let's see if you want to bring some red shirts along with some you. Some red shirts, yeah. Red shirts, yes. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, like Rich just said, cannon fodder, yes. Cannon fodder. I need somebody to get to die on this away <laughs> yes. mission. To save your life, I agree. Exactly. It's up there, security detachment or red shirts. Uh, ah! Oh, my God, really? I thought that's what it was. That's okay. Wow. Okay. JG, you've got a chance now, buddy. Transporter okay. enhancer. Uh, Come on. Transporter enhancers. A shuttlecraft. Okay, shuttlecraft is mine. A shuttlecraft? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Universal yeah. translator. Or the translator, yeah. That's part of the communicator, though. Either that or a uh, field rep. <laughs> Billy, I thought you said transporter hand sanitizer. I go, oh, that's good, no, too. That, too. <laughs> <laughs> so timely. They had that in Enterprise. Perfect. It was interesting. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, JG, what are you thinking? Well, I, I was convinced last time, and I went against my team. So uh, what, is your, what is the team's thought on this? Shuttle? Shuttle. Like a shuttle, yeah. Why not? Well, mine yeah. is wrong. I know it's wrong, but I was going to say Batleth. A bat the Klingon answer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I could think of is bring a Klingon along with your away team. Um, there you go. Well, I'll say shuttlecraft. I have no idea. I don't think that's it, but I was wrong last time. So. That was my other guess. All say. right, going with the team. Let's see. Show me a shuttlecraft. Uh, oh! Not it. Team Forever Ensigns. The points are yours again. My goodness. All right, let's see what this pesky number four answer was. Rich, show us number four. Stan DV. 
food I, rations. Uh, oh, uh, oh, I rations. I about that. I uh, that was, too easy. Have you ever seen anyone eat on Star Trek? No one ever eats on Star Trek. Time to pull. We did earn those points. To be fair, you know, we earned those. But wait a minute, guys. Honestly, of all the Star Trek episodes ever filmed, does anyone see an away team eating food? Like yeah. on the mission? Yes? Yeah, on Enterprise. Okay. Enterprise. Yeah, well, right. uh, on Enterprise is not a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> it was when the Voyager was stranded on that planet and had to eat bugs. Garrett, didn't you guys eat salami sandwiches at one point on a shuttle? I seem uh, to remember that line. That was from Timeless, the hundredth episode, when yes. I was in the shuttle with Chakotay, yeah, and, and then he was going through the the you know the, the check the flow list of what we had to get ready, and he says lunch. I go salami sandwiches or something like that. So yes. yeah. So Alex used to collect a lot of food and bring it back to the ship. That's true. But Dan Devi, that's a great uh, trivia question for uh, the future if you do a trivia thing. Like, what, what lunch did Ensign Kim pack on, in the episode Timeless when they were in the shuttle? You could say that. That'd be a great and Dan didn't hear a damn thing I said. Yeah. Dan. He's, gone. He's gone. <laughs> we're going to entertain ourselves. We just had a, a score correction. The what? actual count for Forever Ensigns is 150, Rich? 150. 150. Bah, we, will, we will correct that before oh, the break. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. But it's 150 to what? To nothing. Oh. Zippo. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to give us a score correction. <laughs> Your score is All donut right. hole. That's what you get. Okay. We're, we're uh, like this, Garrett, what was your question <laughs> that I missed? Nothing. I was just saying that that's a good trivia question you could ask. Like, what lunch did Ensign Kim pack in the shuttle in the episode Timeless? And you could say right, some sandwich. Hey, Garrett, please. We're, we are playing a game. Bye. Very effective drop, Dan. Uh, thank, you. thank you. When it goes, man, it looks good. <laughs> Mad good. Uh, oh, great. Okay, the scores have been corrected. So, uh, unfortunately for the Chancellors, there was no change there. Uh, but for <laughs> Forever Ensigns... <laughs> Wait a minute. I think Sean's no, calling us. Sean? I'm here. You? Okay, all right. You are the quiet man. And you're Irish, right? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. All right, here we go. Sean and Nick. Now, as soon as you think you know the answer, physically raise your hand. First hand up gets it. Here we go. As captain, something you might say to your crew as an unidentified vessel approaches. Sean. Red alert. Red alert. You're nervous. You think everyone's out to get you in the galaxy. First thing you do, red alert. There it is. What? Right. Six? Number oh six. Oh, my God. Oh. All right, Nick. That means that uh, you have a chance uh. to call here. Something you would say to your crew as an unidentified vessel approaches. Power to shields. Power to shields. All right. You're scared, but not quite as scared uh, as Sean would be. All right. Let's see. Should we put the shields up? Oh, oh. Number three answer. All right, all right. Well done. Now, there you go, Nick. You are the man. <laughs> I I don't even think I have to ask this. You guys are gonna play, right? We we need to. Yeah. Yeah. All right, chancellors. Let's play this round. Here we go. Okay. Who's number three for the chancellors? Who's number three? For the oh, there we go. Eric. Uh, Eric. Hello. All right. Eric, you're the captain of a ship. Somebody's approaching. You don't know who they are. What's the order you give to your crew? Uh, hail them. Hail them. Good answer. Give Good them answer. a call. Let's see who it is. Show me, hail them. Yeah. There we go. The number one. Well done. He's going, Eric. All right. That would have been John Luke's first move. <laughs> True. True. Unless, uh, unless, all right. Who's next up? Unless he's in for card. <laughs> Who's number four? Who's number four uh, for JD? That's me. That's me. That's me. I think, right? That is you, Alley. Okay. Uh, I'm not a violent guy, but let's say uh, lock phasers. <laughs> lock phasers. All right, we're you know just in case. Get ready to blow them up. Show me lock phasers. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, good answer. We see I nothing. Sensor scan. <laughs> that is so not the same answer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Weird, yeah, that was we'll, gonna be we'll, my answer. We'll uh, give that to you then. <laughs> the Klingon spelling. 
Holy crap. So, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Rich, what are you doing? <laughs> to us? Uh, that's okay. All that's right, okay. we are going to. Go. Way to go. Uh, wait, you know okay. what? In Turkish, <laughs> sensor scan means lock phasers. So, that's, Ali, that's true, Turkish, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sensor scan means lock phaser in, uh, but in Erdogan's Turkey. It's the same thing. Yes. It is. It's the same thing. Right. There we go. Standby weapons. That's uh, that's Who it as well. They have 160. Okay, we're gonna pretend that number two uh, isn't there. Okay, Next number up. five in Team JG. Number five. Uh, Steve. Steve Harris. Steve. Let's go. Steve. All right, Steve. What do you got for us? What do you say to your crew? Uh, let's see. Wow. Well, since those two were just given to us. Um, form a landing party landing party you want to board them you want to <laughs> go sorry. like hey maybe they want to hang out you never know I'm running out of ideas just, on this you know, one. beam on their bridge and let's let's roll those dice show me beam over uh, oh. it's okay it's okay uh, okay wakanda now, forever sorry <laughs> <laughs> all right number six really uh, Who's number six? Is Billy. That oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. 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 Ah. Sh should I say sensor scan to be <laughs> no, official? Billy. <laughs> no, no, Billy. Okay. That doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I would say uh, full stop. Full stop. All right. Go no further till we know what we're dealing with here. Show me full stop. Uh, <laughs> we'll come to forever. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Glad down to your last <laughs> strike. And we're back to the captain of your team, Mr. JG. JG. What, what is the, uh, ask the question again. <laughs> as captain, something as captain. you might say to your crew as an unidentified vessel approaches. Disengage cloaking shields. Uh, this is JG's answer, please. <laughs> <laughs> something I might say to my crew upon, uh, was it upon discovery of an alien ship, you said? Yeah. An alien ship approaching, unidentified. Oh, okay. I'm thinking transporter. I'm thinking transporter room. Um, I'm thinking tractor beam. I'm thinking... <laughs> uh, for a Klingon, it would be easy. Just, you know, destroy them. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. If the question were a Klingon captain, there would only be one There's answer. One answer. It, the, that might be an answer there, JG. Maybe one of these respondents were, were huge Klingon fans. They might say, destroy them. So, they never yeah. really said it was That's a Federation advice. ship. It yeah, yeah. Federation ship. But we already have the standby bad weapons. So bad advice. Standby weapons Garrett. versus actually firing weapons. <laughs> yeah, fire weapons might be... Uh, this tractor thing might be smart. All right, JG, come on now. Okay. What are you going to go with, buddy? I'm dry. I'm just, I'll have to. Uh, Coking device. <laughs> that, that's a possibility. Yeah, I'll do that because I can't think of anything else. All okay. right. Let's Cloaking see. Device. Show me cloak the ship. Uh, yeah. Oh, Wakanda forever. Okay. Well, the upside, Team Chancellors, uh, is that four and seven seem to be really hard to get. So forever yeah. ensigns. What are you going to go with? Now, we could talk about it, right? Let's yeah. talk about it. Yeah. What do you think, How guys? About evasive maneuvers. Okay. Yes. I've sure. heard say that numerous times. Or, or full reverse. Okay. Well, uh, st um, full stop wasn't one, so I think full reverse uh, wouldn't be one. But yeah. uh, evasive maneuvers, definitely. Sean, uh -huh. does Sean or Tyler or Eugene have something? Mm. I already gave an answer. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Evasive maneuver sounds good to me, but I don't okay. Know. Can I go with one other one that no one has said yet? Um, on screen, no one said that yet. That you know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see. Do you guys like that one? Do you yeah, like on screen? Okay, because you want to see them, so I'm gonna say oh. on screen. That's gonna be our guess. Let's take a look. Show me on screen. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, baby. There it is. Oh, yeah. Word. <laughs> JG is never gonna want to play this game again. <laughs> I don't even want to finish this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh God. Goodness. All right, Forever Ensigns, you guys get, get the points. Let's see, what was number seven? We come in peace. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an order. <laughs> How is that any different than hail them? Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't know. Rich is going to update the score <laughs> now, but well done, Team Forever and Sorry about that, everybody. Another uh, technical glitch here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to skip that final round, and we're going to go straight into uh, Fast Money Round. means that Team Forever Ensigns, you guys have won Trekkie Feud. Congratulations. Sorry about that, Team JG Chancellor. It's just definitely under protest. <laughs> because of your technical glitches, we don't get a chance. It, it, yes, I think. Uh, yeah. I, uh, so, okay, Team Forever Ensigns, you guys have to choose two people to play the fast money round. Okay. Um... So from my team, who really, really wants to play this fast money round uh, by a show of hand? Is there anyone who's really just jam? Okay, all right, let's do. It. Let's go with Kita and Ed, please. Kita, Soul right. Cat, and Ed. Great. Okay, who wants to go first, Ed or Kita? Uh, let's uh, let's let ladies first. Kita, please. All right. Now, Ed, what we're going to need you to do is to mute the sound and don't look at the screen. You are in the isolation booth now, sir. Here we go. We're going to add uh, a little more time on there. So we're doing 30 seconds now. 40 seconds. All right. Just add another hour so they can make some more money. That'd be good. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, all right. So it is 40 seconds on the clock, and the clock will begin as soon as I finish the first question. Kita, are you all set? Ready. All right. Here we go. Name a popular class of starship. Galaxy. Name a popular Star Trek villain. Um, Goldicott. Name an alien race that has waged war against the Federation. Klingon. Name a Star Trek actor who has become a director. Jonathan Frakes. Name a popular Star Trek fan gathering. S popular what? Uh, Star Trek fan gathering. Uh, does Dragon Con count? We're there. That counts. Dragon. All right. Great. Okay. Well done. Well played. Good answers. Good answers. Here we go. The first question was, name a popular class of starship. And you said, galaxy class. Survey said, 34. Nice. Well done. Good job. Next up, a popular Star Trek villain. You said, Gold Ducat. Survey said, Hundred. Two. two. Okay, oh, that's right. Two is better okay. than oh 20. 20. 20, not two. Oh, 20. Wow. So All right. You're you're oh, killing it you're here. Good. All right. Good. The third question. An alien race that has waged war against the Federation. You said Klingonians. The Klingons. And the survey said 40. 40. Oh. What do we need, oh. Dan? How much do we need right. to win this thing? 200. Okay. Here we go. All right. Name a pop, name a Star Trek actor who has become a director. You said Jonathan, Jonathan Frakes. The survey said 60. 46. Oh, 46. Woo. we may not even need to do the next one. Uh, oh, this right. is amazing. Here we go. The final question. A popular Star Trek fan gathering. And you said Dragon, Dragon Con. Con. The survey said. Six. Six. Okay. All right. That's cool. I was waiting for the zero as well to show up. Uh, yeah, which means we well won, done, but... though. A total nice. of 146 points. Excellent. Here we go. Now, the very good news for your team is that Kita did very well. 146 points. Wow. So, you need 64 if, if I can do any kind of fast math. No, 54. Thanks. 54. Can't do fast math. Uh, 54 points to win this thing. Here we go. Name a popular class of starship. Uh, Voyager class. Name a popular Star Trek villain. Oh, uh, Golden Cot. Another Here's one. Another, another one. Oh, oh Q. Q. Uh, name an alien race that has waged war against the Federation. Species 8472. Okay. Name a Star Trek actor who has become a director. Uh, William Shatner. Name a popular Star Trek fan gathering. A popular fan gathering. Gaze in space. 
<laughs> Space, that is the best answer I've heard. Well done. All right, I think 45 Good. seconds. All right, name a popular class of starship. You said Voyager. You meant Intrepid class. I did. Yeah. And the survey said 18. 18, okay. Next up, we asked for uh, the name of a popular Star Trek villain. You said Q. Q. And the survey said 16. Voyager class was given to dear Ed, even, even though it was Intrepid class. JG, at this point, I'm willing to give everyone a kidney. I am, a where are you, Dan? I'm coming needs. there now. Where are you? Tell me where you are. <laughs> I need to go into official hiding. Can we um, finish this? Next one, uh, an alien race that has waged war against the Federation. You said species eight, four, four seven, seven, two. And the survey said ooh, zero ooh. on uh, that. I wanted you to say Borg, but it's okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would have knocked us over. A Star Trek actor who has become a director. You said William Shatner, Shatner. Captain Kirk himself. And the survey said 14. 14. Oh. 194, as long as six people said this one. <laughs> oh, God. Star Trek fan gathering. You said game space. In space. And the survey said 20. <laughs> Was the largest start, was the biggest one Star Trek Las Vegas? Is that the, was that the? Yes, the number one answer was. I was shocked uh, nobody said that. I was like, what? Surprised, surprised. Yeah, but, we still won, guys. You nice job, win. Team Garrett. Team Forever oh, Princess. Princess, nice job. Hey, Dad, where was uh, Roxanne Dawson on the actress who became director? What was that worth? Roxanne was uh, the third highest answer at 28. Hmm. What about uh, Robbie McNeil? Was he on there too? Uh, Robbie had 18. Robbie today McNeil. is her birthday. Oh. Oh, is it? Oh my it god, is. I should say it. Oh yeah, September 11th, 19. Mm -hmm. Wow, she's a 9-11 birthday. Oh my god. Wow. Goodness. Okay. Ooh. That explains things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who said me. that? Who said that? <laughs> was that Mike? Was that Mike? No, guy? that was no. Garrett, because I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Garrett Hoya. Oh. Yeah. Someone I want to drink with now. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I'll hey, drink bro. to that. Awesome. All right. Again, thank you all so much. Uh, you'll all get emails from me so I can get your mailing addresses to send you your prizes. I think JG already has run away, but huge thanks to JG Hertzler I and to our buddy Garrett Wong. Thank you so much, everyone. Dan, can my prize be JG Hertzler? Can you send him to me, please? <laughs> I'll take one Klingon. Uh, oh. What? <laughs> Cheers. He's like, no. Thank you. It was great He's seeing gone. you. Uh, thank you to Team Forever Ensign and everyone else playing. I appreciate it. Good to see you, Billy. All right. Yeah. Bye, Dan. Bye. Bye, Bye Rich. Guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Good work. Bye. Guys. <laughs> it wasn't our good name. <laughs> I, that's what it was, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, I think we get a. When we start doing live stuff again, we can make it up with a Bat Leth fight. Excellent. There you go. That could be the challenge, the last If you've been enjoying the programming that we here at Gaze in Space have been creating for you over these past four years, both in real life and virtually, we'd like to ask you to become a patron of our 501c3 nonprofit organization so that we can keep it all going. If you've enjoyed our original Trek-inspired musical performances presented during our virtual celebrations, not to mention the fabulous Trek-themed drag. Or maybe it's the real-life science thing. Or maybe. 
because you've enjoyed interacting one-on-one -on -one with your favorite Star Trek actors. And if you're like me, you have met some incredible friends that have become your besties. Or, hey, maybe you met the love of your life out of here in space again. Simply hearing all of the many diverse voices in our community finally being respected and represented within the Star Trek universe is the reason you want to be a part in making sure these things continue. Whatever your individual reason is for wanting more of what Gaze in Space has created, the way to make it happen is the same. Become a patron and join us in our fight to ensure the continued inclusion of the LGBTQ plus community in Star Trek and in science fiction storytelling. And always remember that to fix the problems of today, we must have hope for tomorrow.